everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob with me Rob Bidolf there I am on the back of the Draw with Rob at Christmas activity book if you stick around to the end of this video I'll give you a proper look at what's inside it but suffice to say loads and loads of Christmassy activities and draw alongs and things like that for you guys to do so check that one out now I am a children's author and illustrator Maybe you've seen my first novel, which came out earlier this year. It's called Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City. And I'm so super, super proud of it. Look, it's a proper chapter book with lots of words in it, but also lots and lots and lots and lots of illustrations. Um, I was really thinking about reluctant readers when I wrote this book. I think I was a slightly reluctant reader when I was about 10 or 11 years old. Um, and um, so what, I, what I've done with this book is I've, I've deliberately written very short chapters where there's a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of almost every single chapter and I've put in lots and lots of illustrations. So even if, you know, reading a, a big thick book like this is, seems like quite a daunting thing to do, I think this book could be the one for you because it's very, very easy. It's a page turn. It's very, very easy to read and hopefully it'll give you the reading bug. That was my aim. So do check it out if you haven't seen it already and it, it's nice and thick. It makes a nice Christmas present, nice and heavy under the tree. Um, have you seen my new picture book? <gasps> a Christmas picture book for the odd dog. It's called An Odd Dog Christmas. And this sausage dog here, she was the star of my most popular picture book, which is called Odd Dog Out. So I've written a lovely festive story for her. There she is. <gasps> I love this spread. I'm very proud of this spread. Her on the carousel, not looking very happy. And, um, and, and it's basically, it's a really nice story. And the message, I guess, is you know, when it comes to buying Christmas presents, it's the thought that counts. And the most important thing is to be kind, isn't it? So that's what this book's about. So check that one out if you haven't seen it already. But we are here, as per usual, to do a nice drawing together today. And this is a very special episode. Not only is it a Christmas episode, look, I've got my proper Christmas backing paper, as you can see. Um, but not only is it special because it's a Christmas episode, but it's special because it's brought to you by my friends at Help for Heroes. Now, Help for Heroes um, is a really, really brilliant charity. And they believe that everybody, those people that serve our country in the armed forces, they believe that they deserve support when they get wounded or when they get injured doing their job. So. You know, every day men and women leave their jobs in the armed forces as a result of their physical or their psychological wounds. And um, Help for Heroes, this charity, it helps them and their families to recover and get on with their lives. And it's already supported more than 26 and a half thousand people. And they say that they're not going to stop until every wounded veteran gets the support they deserve. So I hope you'll agree with me that they are an amazing charity that do lots of great work for lots and lots of amazing people who really sacrifice so much so that we all can live our lives in the way that we want to live our lives. So please, I'm gonna remind you about this at the end of the video, but please support them by going to this website here. So helperheroes.org.uk forward slash donate hyphen online. And please give anything you can to support this charity because I'm sure you'll agree with me that they are doing a very, very important job. So thank you guys for asking me to do this video. It's a real honor to be supporting you today. So I thought, right, what can I draw for this Help for Heroes special episode? And I thought, well, one of the big heroes at Christmas time is, of course, the big man, Father Christmas. And he needs a lot of help, doesn't he? Particularly when he's delivering his presents. So I thought, right, who gives a lot of help to this particular hero? is reindeer of course so i thought today we would draw a leaping reindeer one of father christmas's reindeer leaping into action for the big day okay so what you're going to need is a piece of paper you're going to need a pen or a pencil something to draw with and that's about it maybe something to color with later because we'll add a bit of color to our drawing towards the end so listen just in case you haven't seen one of my videos before this is how they work Lots of people say to me they don't think they're very good at drawing. And I say, well, do you know what? Everybody can draw. Some people just need a bit of help, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a shove in the right direction. You know, and I can help you with that because I can show you the order to put this drawing together in. So I'm going to break it down into little tiny bite-sized pieces. 
okay? And I'm gonna draw a little bit here on my piece of paper, then you can pause your video, copy what I do, start me up again, I'll draw a bit more, pause me, then you can draw, start me up, I draw, you draw, 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 and at the end, we're gonna have a lovely picture of a leaping reindeer. So, should we start? Now, this one is a tricky one. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's quite a tricky one. It's quite a complicated one, but I've seen what you guys can do, and I think you are equal to the task. So, let's start, shall we? Right in the middle of our piece of paper, I want you to do a diagonal line. So coming, let's literally put your pen right in the center of your piece of paper, and we're gonna start with a shortish diagonal line, comes down at an angle like that, about five centimeters long, okay? Then, at the end of this diagonal line, we're gonna do a little, we're gonna go up a little bit and curve around like that. And we're gonna do exactly the same at the other end. So we get a funny little shape like that. Then what we want to do is from here, from the end of this little bump, we're gonna come down and we're gonna go around in a sort of semicircle shape. And we're gonna go up, we're gonna join up with back here, but what I want you to do is, we're not gonna join up straight, we're gonna sort of come up and then curve around a bit before we join up. So it's a funny sort of a shape like that. And then from the other point of the bump, we're gonna join that point to that point. And we're gonna do it in the same way. So we're gonna sort of come around like that, go up and join up there. So I wonder if you can guess which part of our drawing we're starting with today. All will become clear, I promise you. Right, now from here, I want you to imagine this line has carried on through this little bump here and just carries a bit further on down our page and then just curls around like that. Then from here, we're gonna do a sharp turn and we're gonna head a centimeter or two back up the page like that. Then we're coming straight down for about three centimeters. So do you see what I mean? This is quite a complicated one, but just follow me and the picture will reveal itself as we go. The next thing to do, we're gonna do another diagonal line coming down there. So very similar to that, Sorry, about the same I'm length. Not sure. Alexa, did I ask you any questions then? I don't think I did, did I? You're going to talk back Sorry, to me. Yeah. I don't know that one. See, Alexa, uh, do you know what? Alexa, be quiet, please. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Alexa, Let's try that again. <laughs> do you do you ever do this? Do you have conversations with your Alexa? I do it all the time. Right, Alexa, do not disturb. I won't disturb you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. You didn't need to hear that. My little conversation with Alexa halfway through our drawing of a reindeer. Oh, it just goes to show, you know. Do you remember when I say if something goes wrong, keep on going, don't start again? There you go, there's your proof. Right, where was I? Right, we're down here. Okay, the next thing to do is from this point, we're gonna head down towards the bottom of our page, not quite in a straight line, but at a very slight angle, like that. So we're sort of doing this weird zigzaggy line across our page. And we're gonna make it even more zigzaggy now because we're gonna head that way. So I hope you're paying attention, guys it is a bit of a tricky one this the next thing i want you to do is we are going to go horizontally across the page a little tiny bit then we're going to head back up almost parallel not quite parallel to that and again we're going to head up there but we're going to go slightly we're going to be getting see it's quite narrow there and slightly wider there so the lines are going slightly apart like that okay the next thing to do, this is the bit, the tricky bit, because we are gonna do a curved line and we are gonna go from here, we're gonna curve around and we're gonna end up, we wanna end up about there. So about a centimeter underneath that very first curve that we drew. Okay. Now, I'm gonna come back to here now, just here where we turned into our curve and I want you to do yet another diagonal line coming down like that. And we're gonna stop just above we get to that, before we get to where that little corner is. Then we're gonna turn around, and we're gonna sort of copy the shape that we did here. So down, up, and then back in there. 
and maybe you can see our reindeer starting to take shape. I'm gonna tell you what this bit is. So this is our reindeer's tail, and these are our reindeer's back legs, okay? So at the bottom of this leg here, we need to give our reindeer a little hoof. So what we're gonna do is just add a sort of, uh, what do you call those shapes? Trapezium? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a trapezium, but we're gonna add a couple of little trapeziums, if that's indeed what they are, at the bottom of the legs like that. But little hooves. Yeah, pretty good. Right, okay. <laughs> Next bit, we're gonna go back up to here now. We're gonna start adding the top part of our reindeer. So from this point here, okay, so this bit is gonna be our reindeer's saddle, okay? Now they don't get ridden as such because they just pull the sleigh, but they still wear these saddles. I think they're kind of part of the harness that attaches them to the sleigh so they can pull Father Christmas along. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here, I want you to go straight up the page, quite a long way up it. Let's go to about there. So we're gonna leave a nice big gap still at the top of our page because we have to add some bits and pieces to the top of our reindeer at the end of our drawing. So leave a bit of a gap there. But then when we get to this top here, I want you to turn around and just slightly curve back down. And that's gonna be our reindeer's ear. I keep nearly saying rainbow. If I say rainbow, I apologize in advance. I mean reindeer. Then from the bottom here, we're gonna head off up our page, nice and straight, diagonal line, about that long, four or five centimeters. Don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. Proportions will vary from drawing to drawing. I've drawn this in my book before, and this isn't probably gonna look anything like the one I did in my book, because things change, that's just natural, that's the way it goes. But that's a good thing. That's what brings character to our drawings. The next thing to do from here, we're gonna go diagonally down our page that way. And then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna come back in like that. And we're gonna, that's gonna be our reindeer head shape, okay? Let's draw the rest of our reindeer's body before we get into the details of the head. Now, what I want you to do is about a centimeter from the end of that line, I want you to start coming down your page in a nice sort of zigzaggy pattern. This is gonna be like the front side of our reindeer's body. And it's a little bit shaggier than the rest of it. The hair or the fur there is just a little bit longer. And I want you to come down to about there so you're level with sort of the midpoint of our saddle. And then what I want you to do, this is where it gets a bit tricky, but we can do this. We're gonna draw a diagonal line heading slightly uphill. And it's just gonna come out, I'm gonna go about that far out. Okay, then we're gonna turn around, we're gonna head down towards that part of the page, and then we're gonna turn in diagonally, quite sharply, to about there. Then another turn, that angle, then we're gonna go up a little bit, and then we're gonna head back up here, stop there, and then we're gonna go left slightly downhill, and that's gonna be one of our reindeer's front legs. Now, imagine this bit of the furry tummy bit was carrying on through that leg, and we're just gonna go around there, turn the corner, and we're gonna join up with the rear leg here, and then we're gonna have a nice silhouette for our reindeer. When we get to about there, I'm gonna to go to a smooth line, because the tufty bits of the reindeer fur are really just at the front. So there we go, we can see the black back legs down there and the front leg, we gotta draw the other one in a sec, is kind of leaping in the air. Let's give him another hoof or her another hoof. So we're gonna do a shape, another sort of trapezoid shape. I really should have looked that up before I started. That's gonna be our reindeer's front hoof. And we're gonna draw the other leg just behind it. So we're gonna follow our shape like that. And then up there and then down here, and then we're just gonna disappear behind there, and let's add a little bit of the hoof there. There we go, another one of our reindeer's legs. Okay, so we have got the majority of our reindeer's silhouette done now. So we can start adding a bit of detail in. Now let's do the harness first, let's finish the harness. We started with the saddle. We need to attach the saddle to our reindeer's tummy. So what we're gonna do, coming from the middle, we're gonna do a little curvy line that comes down like that. 
and another one there. And that's gonna be the strap that goes around our reindeer's tummy. Let's do one around the back part of our reindeer, around his bottom. So we're gonna do a strap coming down there. So two parallel lines going that way. And then we'll do one going over the top. You can see I'm slightly curving them to give it the impression that they're wrapping around our reindeer's body. And then lastly, we're gonna do one just coming around the reindeer's neck. So from the top of the saddle, just around the front there. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm just gonna shade mine in with my black pen. So I want these bits to be black so that they sort of stand out from everything else as the straps. We're gonna do it in there too. These pens are really good. My Curataki brush pens are really good because you can use you can make them nice and thin for my little details here, but then if you use the sort of fat part of the brush and press down a bit harder, you can colour in nice and quickly, like that. There we go. So, the harness really starting to take shape. Now, I'm going to draw a little bell around my reindeer's neck as well. So, I'm going to add one more strap that sort of goes diagonally around the neck just a bit higher than the other one and I'm not going to colour this one in black because I'm going to give that a bit of colour when I actually colour the rest of the reindeer in later and we're going to add a little bell on the end here so this is how we do the bell first of all we're going to add like a little C shape like that at the end of the strap then coming down from both sides we come out a bit we sort of curve out on each side like that and then we join them up with an oval a very thin oval and can you see we've made a little bell shape you can even add just a little hook in there and you know what a couple of little lines very thin I'm going to use the tip of my brush pen and I'm going to add a few little dots in there as well just to give our bell a little bit of decoration and you know what if you add a semicircle in there that could be the little dinger is that what they're called Technically, I don't know if that's technically what they call, but that's what I'm going to call it, the dinger of the bell. <laughs> okay, it's really starting to take shape now, isn't it? I love it when a drawing is very complicated and, you, and it's quite tricky to tell what it is when you first start, but then eventually everything falls into place. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more detail to my saddle. So I'm going to add just another little sort of U shape in there. This is just really for decoration like that and you know what I might make it so that it's a bit more decorative and add one of my favorite things you know me I love little swirly bits so I'm just gonna add a little swirly detail like that into my decorative bit of my saddle and then I might even mm, should I do that now yeah why not no I'll do it when I color it in I might add some little you can then you can make your own up add some little sort of detail the patterny designs into the saddle in there but maybe we'll do that when we color it in let's finish the rest of our drawing first so in this ear i want you just to add a little triangle shape which is what i always call the lining of the ear and i'm gonna let's give let's give our reindeer a nose so what we do we add a sort of corner area here now anyone who has drawn a dog with me. I think I've done Doodle the Dog from Peanut Jones and also the Odd Dog Out. This is how I always do noses. I sort of do them a bit like a corner flag on a football pitch. We do that sort of little bit there. And then depending on the type of animal we're drawing, I either do a little swirly nostril in there or I do one outside. This today I'm going to do it outside. So what we do, we just add a little swirly bit like that and that's going to be our reindeer's nostril. And this we make our reindeer a bit, little bit smiley. Just add a little smiley mouth down the bottom there and join it up with a little line to the nose there. We can colour this nose in now. There we go. And a good trick to make an animal look even more animal-like is just underneath the nose, just add a few little dots and it makes them look like they've sort of got whiskery things. Now our, re our reindeer is super happy to be flying through the sky tonight to help Santa, help our hero, Santa Claus. So she is, or he is, I don't know if it's he or she this one, I don't know which one it is yet, but she's gonna have her eyes closed because she's in such, she's in bliss flying through the sky on Christmas Eve. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna draw sort of a semicircle, not quite a semicircle actually, a bit less than a semicircle, like that. And we're just gonna add some little eyelashes 
to show that the eye is closed. There we go. Oh, it's very happy. It's going to be a she, I think. This is going to be. Hang on, what are their names? Let's see if we can do the reindeer names, shall we? So we've got Dancer, Prancer. How many is there? I think there's eight. Dancer, Prancer, Dasher, Vixen, Cupid. Hmm. Dancer, Prancer, Dasher, Vixen, Cupid. Oh no. Blitzen, Donna. Oh. Hang on, I've got it in my book. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There's a nice scene in this where they're pulling farther. There we go. So here we go. We've got Blitzen. Can you see that? Blitzen. Comet. Comet's the one I forgot. Comet. Prancer. Cupid. What's that say? Dancer. Vixen. Oh no. What's that say? Oh, Donna. Vixen. Dancer. And then the other one is Dasher. Because Dasher is not feeling very well. So old dog is helping fight the Christmas out in this particular book. There we go. We got there in the end. <laughs> right. Okay. We need to do the antlers, the reindeer's antlers. So this is how we're going to do them. We're going to start right next to the ear. We are just going to draw a little straight line that comes up but stops. We don't want to go past the top of the ear. Okay. We want to stop about there. So we're just going to go behind the ear. And our antler is going to come straight out above our reindeer's nose and is going to curve right up towards the top of our page like that. Then we're going to turn around, follow our antler back down. Now this is the bit you can do your antlers, whatever. I think no two reindeer antlers are the same. They sort of branch off a bit like trees at all sorts of directions. So I'm just going to do, you can copy what I do if you want, but feel free to add your own reindeer antler pattern. I'm going to come out there. We have another one going up there and then we'll curve back around. Then I think we're going to go all the way back along past the ear. Then let's go off up here. Do another little branch coming out to the side there. I always think they're made of wood, but they're not, are they? I think they're made of... I think they're made of, like, hair. Rob, what are reindeer antlers made? Can we put a little education station up here? What are they made of? There you go. So either I was wrong or right about the hair thing. Either way, you will now know what reindeer antlers are made of. I think I heard that rhinoceros horns were made of hair once, so maybe I think, maybe that's where I'm getting mixed up. Anyway, there we go. Bit of education for you. Right, let's carry on now. We're gonna carry on parallel to that line. We're gonna come right out the back. I'm gonna make these really nice and big, these ones. And then we're gonna go up there, curve around. I'm gonna add one more little branch. Branch, as if they're made of wood. Branch, and then we're gonna go back around here and into the ear. There we go. I'm just gonna add, because I think they, they join the head at two points, I'm just gonna add like another little bit of antlerness there. And then maybe behind that, the other ear, the rear ear of our reindeer. And there we go. That's pretty much our reindeer, our leaping reindeer finished. But the really fun part is adding color and shading to your reindeer. Now you might think, why have I crossed that over there? Because it looks a bit strange at the moment, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give my reindeer a sort of a paler, a lighter tummy. So I'm gonna add some sort of zigzaggy shapes down here. I'm gonna leave the tummy nice and pale. You see what I mean when I've finished? Because actually, what I want, I want that bit to overlap a bit. Oh, I forgot a bit actually. We need to add another curved bit here for the other leg. You know, this leg here, just behind. So there we go, I forgot that bit. Um, but yeah, you'll see when I colour it in um, what I mean about that. But the really fun part is, I guess, decorating your saddle. You can add lots of Christmas tree patterns there or snowflakes or whatever you want to do. You go for it. And as ever, the rules are there ain't no rules when it comes to colouring. You do whatever you want. Your reindeer can be bright purple if you like. The more colourful, the better. That's what I say. I'm going to go into super speed mode to colour mine in. So I will see you back here in about 20, 25 seconds, something like that, with a beautifully coloured in Christmas reindeer. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. go there is my finished colored in leaping reindeer 
you know what? I'm just gonna neaten this bit up here a bit. I just spotted that. That end is annoying me somewhat. So we can see what I've done. I've left a few little white spots. So it's just up the reindeer's back and across um, near the tail and down that leg. Um, just because I think that's always quite a nice thing to do with reindeer. They have those nice little speckly bits and for some reason they're the bits that make me think of reindeers as being Christmassy. I don't know why. <laughs> But so yeah, so I had to sort of think ahead and you can see I forgot to leave some down there. I started coloring, I was like, oh, no, I should have left the dots. But I've left some little dots there. And um, and remember the bit that I said about the white, the sort of the lighter tummy. So I've got the tummy coming down and going around under here. Um, and then I've just done a nice red and green seat and I added some little pattern swirls and snowflakes and things around the edge of the seat to give it a bit of decoration. And, and yeah, nice golden bell. Pretty simple, really. Pretty simple colouring. But it looks really, really nice. We've got to forget, we can't forget, sorry. One of the most important bits. We need to add our signature down the bottom. So here we go. Rob. There we go. There is my little signature at the bottom. Just to kind of finish off our drawing. What would be really good is if you drew a few of them and maybe you could cut them out and you could stick them sort of in a row, sort of jumping across the sky as they pull Father Christmas. That would be cool. That'd be a nice window display, wouldn't it? But listen, I hope you're really pleased with your reindeer drawings. As I said, this is a tricky one. It's not an easy one, this one, because, um, you know, it's quite a complicated thing to do an animal in motion like this, especially when we're including their back legs, a little bit of perspective in there. But I think sometimes when they're really tricky, they're the most rewarding drawings to kind of do. So I hope you're really proud of yourself for finishing this drawing and I hope you're pleased with what you have ended up with. And don't forget what I said about help for heroes. This reindeer provides a lot of help for, for one hero, Father Christmas on Christmas Eve. But remember, Help for Heroes supports all those heroes that work for our armed forces that need our support if they've been injured doing their job. So please do visit the website helpforheroes.org.uk forward slash donate hyphen online. There it is. Um, and support our heroes. Right, I want to see your pictures, please. What you need to do, get your grown up, take a picture of your drawing, and then if they post it online with this hashtag, draw with Rob. That is probably the best way that I will get to see it. And who knows, maybe your drawing will make the grid at the end of the week. I hope you've had lots of fun doing this with me. I really have. It's getting very close to Christmas now, isn't it? I hope your feeling's festive. Of course, all your decorations are up. I hope you've done all your Christmas shopping and sent your cards, all that sort of thing. I am going to be back on Christmas Eve with a very special drawing to do together on Christmas Eve. So maybe tune in. I think I'm going to put it up first thing in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. So do come in before the rest of your day's festivities get underway and join in with me there. We'll do something suitably Christmas Eve-y and that will be super fun. I've loved showing you how to draw this leaping reindeer. I hope you've enjoyed doing it with me too. Stick around till the end of this video to have a look inside the Christmas activity book. Um, and I am gonna be back very soon with another episode of Draw With Rob. Until then everybody, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello everyone, just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am popping up again at the end of your video. I just wanted to very quickly tell you about this. It's the Draw With Rob at Christmas activity book. Lots of you have got the other activity book I know and there's more fun in this book here and it's all festive themed. So there's loads and loads of things for you to do. We've got an arty advent for you to start off with, where there's something for you to do every single day. We've got blank Father Christmas letter pages. We've got Christmas deck, you make your own Christmas decorations, make your own Christmas cards, lots of coloring, lots of draw alongs. Look, here we go, snowman draw along. Loads and loads and loads of things to do. Look, you can even make your own little box for Christmas gifts. And I have got you covered when it comes to thank you cards too. Look, here, I'm gonna get there. Oh, look, I forgot, nearly forgot to tell you this. It's one of my favorite bits. Christmas cracker jokes. You can cut all of these out roll them up 
and put them around the table at Christmas time and all your family and friends who are with you, they can each tell a joke and it's got little charades and it's got even got like little kind of guess the sketch ideas for you to draw along with each other over Christmas dinner. So listen, I think you're gonna like this. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you cards, look mums and dads. Ready-made thank you card templates. No excuse not to write those thank you cards, is there? So listen, check it out. It's available wherever you get your books from, online, in person, even better. If you can find it in a bookshop, even better. It's, how much does it cost? 6 99 not too expensive. Perfect stocking filler. Actually perfect, I would say, to give to somebody on the 1st of December so they can enjoy it all the way through the build up to Christmas. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'm gonna see you soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care everyone.